So this is significantly colder than I expected, and I... You want a cake? Can you take my ring off? I can. <laughs> this is the opposite of what a proposal looks like. Um, <laughs> okay. She will not be partaking in the champagne until <laughs> the haircut is cut. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I don't think so. It's a twist off, I think. Wow! <laughs> champagne is untwisted! <laughs> well, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get my hair cut. Okay, so to today, Rachel will be cutting my hair because I have not had it cut since January of last year. Neither of us have any hair cutting experience or knowledge until recently. Never and had one lesson. I have been watching Brad Mondo, so I'm the expert here. Um, Rachel has watched more than that, so she's the uber expert here. I also went to Walgreens today and picked up this $8 pair of hair shears, so we're really equipped for this. They're called shears? They are called shears. My phone only has so much room on it, so I probably won't document all of it. You can tell how far along we are with obviously how short my hair is and how far down I am with my mimosa. Unless I refill it, which may have to happen. We weren't supposed to tell them that. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm very scared, but I'm ready. Thank you. And Blind Brooklyn is here. So I'm finding the apex, which is here, and I'm taking... Is that where you usually part your hair? Yes. Okay, good. It's a very important thing. That's what Brad wanted us to do. He did. Straighten that up because you know your girl's a type one enneagram, so yeah. I may have mentioned that to my coworkers. <laughs> What'd you tell them about me? <laughs> we just talk about types all the time, okay. and I was like, yeah, my sister's cutting my hair, and she's a one, so it might be like really, really short. <laughs> oh <laughs> just my God. Keep it. <laughs> but no. I'm okay with that. Well, naturally, are you looking as straight ahead as you can? I couldn't tell you. I'm okay, blind. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So we have basically the same hair. You do. Yours is just slightly more ample than mine. Not a good enough excuse for to use the word ample. Okay, this. I need different hair ties. Okay. We're gonna need some more of this. <laughs> the normal hair band? Like the not elastic -y one? I have others. She's I have my bag oh my of gosh. tricks. <laughs> you can't question. do that to a nearsighted person. <laughs> it's just a little alarming. And I haven't even cut that to <laughs> the cutting <laughs> part. There's been no cutting thus far. What did your coworkers say about your haircut? They were just excited. They really trust you. I am feeling so supported by these people I've never you met. You should. That is good. Perfect. You did. I can't really trust them. <laughs> Going to college right after that movie came out. But my name is Rachel, for all of you. Not picked up on that. <laughs> that seems really hard. Please continue here. And I responded to, where is she? For like a long period of time. She still does, if you like say it aggressively if you enough. really want to catch me that way. It can be just done. Catch her. <laughs> If you want to see what Rachel doing my hair usually is, it's a lot of her just saying, stop moving, and me moving. <laughs> my hair is all sectioned off. Rachel did a fabulous job, I'm guessing, because I'm blind. If anyone's wondering, this is where we're at. <laughs> a little lower. I'm going to start in the back. Okay. I can hear it. So I am just, what is this called? I don't know. Stop moving. It is not straight, my friend. But we're going to keep going. Pretty sure he wants you to have the rubber band about where you cut it. Oh, well. I'm gonna move that down. I'm gonna take another swig. Oh, it looks better when I slide the rubber band down. We're cutting straight, you just didn't know it. Three sections just off, so we're gonna start over. <laughs> How do you start over with cutting hair? No, with the rubber band. Okay, okay, okay. The tension got lost. So okay. There. That's why I kept it higher. I haven't, like, accepted that my hair is getting cut yet. I'm doing, like, a little straight cut and then going into a triangular. Like, yeah. You hear that? I hear you. It's like so thick you gotta saw at it. It's, this is one of your six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, hair. I will. Floor. <laughs> it's already dead. Hair can't John... just hang there like a dead thing around your face. <laughs> I always think of the like John Mulaney thing. That one stupid kid. Technically, oh it's midnight. Get out of here with your stupid facts. You know what? You take your EpiPen, take your gosh dang EpiPen, and get out of my house. I said that to Logan. And he didn't know what I was referencing. Oh my god. <laughs> and he was like, what did you say to me? Like slightly offended. He was triggered. I mean, like, if I leave, I am taking my EpiPen. But is it looking like a haircut? It's looking like a haircut. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm getting my haircut. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need you to calm down and be still. I'm letting it out to meet its friend section. <gasps> They're pretty close. Comb. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Sorry. So Rachel has done mo most of the back. It's feeling really healthy, but she has to get on the floor <laughs> to do it. So I now have a pillow that I'm scooting around on. So um, I feel like all of you are wondering what's Brooklyn's hair history. Dyed it a couple of times. 
I've never had it professionally dyed, which is probably not the best. When I was like, I think 15, I like dyed one strand purple and I was like, whoa. Bleached, okay, like box dyed, the bottom layer blonde. It turned out horrible, but I loved it. Since then I haven't really dyed it, but I've donated it twice, maybe three times. The thing is, is when I get my hair cut, I'm like, just trim it and then I'll grow it really long and then I'll just donate it, which isn't great because what I'm donating ends up being pretty dead. Okay. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just cut off. So you see how that like didn't come out straight at all? That's why we do the next part. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear this. It's a very like, satisfying Yes, noise. it is. When I was little, I decided to take some scissors, like we're right about here, to my hair. So I had a bowl cut. It was super cute. Like legitimately, it was adorable on me. But... I remember we went to go out to play with neighbors one night. Courtney was like, who's that? I'm pointing at you, it was right after your haircut. I was like, that's Brooklyn. And they're like, no, it's not. That's a boy. And I was like, first off, we need to talk about gender equality. Second off, you can wear your hair however you want, ladies. But also, that's my cute, adorable little sister with a bowl cut. So, this is the first time hearing of it. And wow, I am offended. I was very protective of you. <laughs> Thank so you for you protecting know. me from that for, sorry, um, six years. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You want to watch what you do with your elbow, my lady? I do. Slope of your neck gives me something to believe in. <sighs> And then I am going to return to the floor. It actually looks pretty good. She says that after everyone. I think she's just been really surprised at how well she's done. <laughs> also, here's where we are. It's been a while since you've seen it. My hair history, yes. for everyone who's been wondering, is less adventurous than Brooklyn's. Oh, I got highlights when I was like 10. <gasps> I remember that. Oh, they were chunky. They were real chunky. I saved up for my allowance for, I want to say like six months. And then my mom's friend who highlighted it for me gave me a discount because she heard I had paid for it myself. I think the discount equated to extra chunkiness. It was very kind of her though. Didn't you get a perm as well? I did get a perm. And those have both happened by the age of 12. And I've done nothing since then. <laughs> Tell me about the perm. I'm always interested in perms. I wanted to dye my hair red like the Little Mermaid. And mom talked me out of it. And she said you can get a perm instead. And I don't know where. How did one... Okay, I think mom with her true 80s self was like, you know what it would be less damaging, but just as fun. Okay, I okay. do feel like I need to remind you that it is at an angle. I think you I also have bangs. bangs. Oh my gosh, you remember we your had bangs? bangs. Okay, and then I got them again, like ironically, in um, high school. Oh, <laughs> I think it's pretty straight. Now look, my hair is cut. I think it's just like the whole like curving and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it feels so healthy. I love it. Can I help you? <laughs> Hold please, I'm sorry. Another full, full glance! Yum 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 sugary and sweet Just and juicy. Like Not juicy. I, I know, we timed that, that poorly. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Okay, you're I could have helped you and I did not. We might need to go shorter later. Okay, I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> Can you just like take another inch off real quick? She would, you guys. <laughs> I would. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Isn't it? Wow, I'm so impressed with my work so far. I'm gonna cut layers into this. Stop touching it. Sorry. I'm trying to straighten it out. <laughs> I don't wanna touch it. <laughs> you can touch it when I'm done straightening. Your touching time is over. I'm already regretting it is saying over. that. Okay, I heard it that time. <laughs> And the thing okay. is, and we're gonna lose your face. Thank you. Goodbye, face. Boy. Don't touch anything. Try to get the sides even. Yeah, you got like an extra inch on the side. <laughs> you wanna just put that there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Time to. Nope, still for I'm okay. so zen. I know. <laughs> you really I'm look really just meditating. New development. Um, we're trying to figure out if it's even. It's pretty even. But I decided to do something fun and part it down the middle. But now that means we've got this fun <laughs> little guy. Alright, so we're going to go down lower and then we're going to cut into it. Okay, that was good. Yes, look at how it moves. It's so much healthier. Okay, something like that. Yeah, it's looking really good. Do you think it's a little longer on this side though? It might be just a little bit. Yeah, when I look like that. Let's go out with a bang. 
Bang, bang, bang. Now we're going to take this tie and we're going to hide this away. Okay? Hey, you've got to hide your hair away. That way your length stays preserved. Because I want this one for cutting. I know, I'm so needy. I said it feels so healthy. Oh, uh, well, I'm really glad that you were saying something really nice about your hair and I was saying something really mean about myself. That's what we do. But you know, I have no follow-up. What did Brad want us to do for this part? <laughs> so you take it and you go straight up. That's the part I was missing. Yes, you know. Blindly yeah. trusting her. Okay. This is just gonna be what it's gonna be. That is this whole haircut. <laughs> that is what I subscribe to. Ascribe to? Subscribe is when you click subscribe, but ascribe you hold a belief. Nice plug there. <laughs> Appreciate you promoting my channel. <laughs> there is this surprising amount of hair in my mouth. I have a feeling. This is around where, but who's to say? Wow! It's so. supposed to look weird. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Hey, little Hollywood. You got the cash, but your credit's no good. You kicked the stick. <laughs> Sorry, that's what my friend said. It's really dumb. I remember when you were <laughs> young. You stubborn, <laughs> so bright and pink. So bright and pink! Is there a hair tie, perchance, that I have given? No, okay. Yonder. Do you trust me? Yes. This is the most horrifying thing It was so startling. I'm so anxious to see how this looks. I'm only crying a little bit. I'm gonna drink some more. Is it good? Oh my. Ooh. It's not bad. It's not a bad face. starting place. It's so pretty. Oh, good. yay! Thank you. <laughs> a little face framing action. There you go. This now one. we just do it for all the rest of it. Alrighty, look at what she's done. So we've got layers here. Rachel knows more about it. And fall and frame her face. So we're gonna add a little bit more um, blending so that it's a little bit more seamless. And I'm gonna thin out the bottom a little bit so it's not quite so heavy. I'm feeling the mimosa though, so. You can't tell because I'm wearing a black cape. But we've got layers here. It looks so natural, honestly. That's been a really key word this whole night. It's just natural. <laughs> so I'm gonna just throw that. She has been throwing her shears, shears at me. I have. All night. Also, we forgot to tell you because um, we've been distracted by my hair. But we saw a possum. <laughs> like, she was a little like. Hole that's near my apartment. Yeah, it's like Run a rain gutter. Things. Yeah, I'm not okay because I go out there and read like often. She does. And now there's, I know there's a possum home in there. Possible possum home. I just looked out the window and I was like, huh, that's a weird looking cat. And then it wasn't a cat at all. It's very close to being perfect. That's a very key word for me. <laughs> just when you recall the chill I, 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 I. I. You know, it's like Mia Thermopolis, where they're just like, she straightens her hair, she's an entirely different person. I do really like that hairbrush, even though it's very, it's pretty much the same as your other hairbrush. No, it's completely different. It's my own dang hair that made the tangles. That is true. Hey, that's my hair. Sorry, I lost the comb. It's okay. It's on the other side of your butt, we're good. It's to the point where everything's looking like even before I cut it, so I just mm. want you to know. I am trying my darndest. Face framing. We're gonna have you pivot and face me. You don't want very much, you just want like a little, right? Just a small face. I'm gonna scoot back a little. Push me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want like that much or less? Where's my face? Okay, like here? Uh huh. So just like start, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to like do that. It actually works surprisingly well for me having zero technique. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Does it perfectly? <laughs> it's really funny that the words we've used the most in this video have been perfect and natural. Uh -huh. Because if there are two words that describe a one and a four, it's perfect and natural. That got a little chunky, so we're gonna fix that. But we're gonna blend. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> showed you. Look at look at that and tell me what you think. Oh, with like, yeah, with like vision. The ability to see. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Guys, okay. Oh, she told me to brush it first. Hold on, I'm brushing it before I hit record. Don't oh, worry. It is now 9.30 p.m. We started at 30. 6.30-ish, yeah. yeah. Look at 
this? We've got some movement here. So much movement. Look at all these layers. She framed my face like a pro. When you like mess with it, you can like definitely see the layers. I've got so much hair on my foot. Same. And she has so much more. <laughs> Play with my hair. I am exhausted <laughs> and I have done nothing. So I can't imagine how this one feels. My feet, my back. Her feet, her back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. I'm just like getting your ear. It's all fine. over. I mean, I've poked you how many times in the face now? Yeah, my hair will probably need to be cut soon. I don't think I've cut mine since November. But yeah, I need to trim mine. But uh, we'll see if I'm brave enough to do that myself. I volunteer my poor sword, sword to source. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, Sissy. I'm tired. Tired too. I've been crawling on the floor at your feet. Thank you. Yeah. Big glass. We're gonna get this curled. She's curling. Hold this. <laughs> it's a really professional setup we have here. Don't stop, don't stop talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just saw that ending with one of us getting burned. People in the olden times all just had straight across cut hair. I do, but they didn't wear it down. A floof! A floof! Oh my word, lady, you have hair. Look at that. A coral. I am a coral girl. Take off your um, cape so they can see your hair better. Look at it! It's so full and happy and it bouncy. Is. It is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just like this dramatic hair flip, but not. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> it was a little stressful for a moment. I feel like a little spring girl! Wait, okay. you know, when you're like, it's like spring and you get your hair cut and it's like. Yep, just like that. <laughs> no idea what she's talking <laughs> just about. Like, yes, dear. <laughs> also, this came on top a while ago. <laughs> that was on screen, so. Awesome! Oh, my back. Come on, achy, break your back. So cute! Ring! Thank you for watching. I know you had no options with your hair cutting, but thank you for choosing <laughs> Rachel's hair cutting salon. <laughs> if you're stuck at home and you need a haircut, probably don't do it yourself. Enlist a perfectionist who is very talented and knows a lot about hair and is willing to spend four hours just crouching down on her knees on a pillow on the ground. Like, look how cute it can turn out when you do all of those things that I know you won't do. Well, we are very tired. She has a lot of mimosa to drink. Mine is gone. Her second one is gone. Have a good night. Well, we'll have a good night. You have a good whatever. <laughs> Just let me go to sleep. Please. <laughs>